guys. Uh, so I'm gonna do my bookshelf tour. Uh, this is the second time I'm filming it because the first time I filmed it and it was all done and it was all edited and then I accidentally deleted it. So we're gonna hope that that doesn't happen this time because if it does, I'm not doing another one. <laughs> it takes too long. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So we're going to start with my favorite bookshelf. Yes, I have a favorite bookshelf. Up top, we do have the Hunger Games trilogy and the entire House of Night series. I'm not going to take them down just because there is only two series up there. And I feel like by now we all know what these look like. But I will tell you the names of them. So we have Hunger Games, Catching Fire, and Mockingjay. I also have the entirety of the Hunger Games Pops, except for Katniss with a bow. And then we have the Hunger Games series. The original series is Marked, Betrayed, Chosen, Untamed, Hunted, Tempted, Burned, Awakened, Destined, Hidden, Revealed, and Redeemed. After that, we have some novellas. We have Dragon's Oath, Lenovo's Bow, Nymphrit's Curse, and Colonna's Fall. I also own the tarot cards that were just released this year, I believe, followed by the Fuddling Handbook, and the Otherworld series, which is a spin-off for this series. I think they were doing it as a 10th year anniversary. So we have Loved, Lost, Forgotten, and Found. I haven't read those yet, but I've read everything else. Next up, we have my Tegan Hunter collection, which I'm hoping to grow uh, however, if it does grow, I don't know where I'm going to put the rest of the books because I need another shelf. <laughs> um, but we have A Slice of Love by Tegan Hunter, which I do not even remotely own even a little bit of the series. This is the only one that I have. Then we have the complete texting series. So let's get textual. I want to text you up. Can't text this and, and text me baby one more time. If you haven't read that series, I highly suggest you even just go watch my wrap up for September and I talk about that series. And then I also have the newest book released by her, which is Roommate Romps Loathe Thy Neighbor. Next, we go into my Audrey Carlin collection, which takes up majority of the shelf. I think I'm only missing two books by her and all of these ones are signed. So this is the Falling series. We have Angel Falling, London Falling, and Justice Falling. Then we have the International Guy series. So this is broke up into four books. There is 12 of them. So I'm just going to read the titles of the books themselves. So we have Paris, New York, Copenhagen in Volume 1. Malin, San Francisco, and Montreal in Volume 2. London, Berlin, and Washington DC in Volume 3, and Madrid, Rio, and Los Angeles in Volume 4. Next up we have the A Biker series, which consists of Biker Babe, Biker Beloved, Biker Brit, and Biker Boss. Again, they are in two volumes. I think this is all of them. And then we also have What the Heart Wants, which was just announced that they're getting a sequel. Next up we have the Beloved Calendar Girl series. So again, this one is set up like international guys. So there's four books, but there's actually 12. So we have January, February, March in volume one, April, May, and June in volume two, July, August, September in volume three, and October, November, and December in volume four. These next two series are my absolute favorite by Audrey Carlin. This is the Trinity series. I do plan to reread this. Uh, it did start as a trilogy, and then we have two add-on books from side characters. So we have Body, Mind, Soul as the original trilogy, and then Life and Fate as the add-on books. And lastly, we have the Lotus House series. So this one, I love the way that it looks. And Resisting Roots was just announced that they're getting a movie on Passion Flicks, so I'm so excited for that. 
I cannot wait for this series to become a movie adaptation. So we have Resisting Roots, Sacred Serenity, Divine Desire, Limitless Love, Silent Sins, Intimate Intuition, and Enlightened End. This is a series that follows a yoga studio, but it is a series of companion novels. So you can read them out of order, but I would suggest that you read them in order so that you get the full effect of them. The postcards are from giveaways or holiday cards that the author has sent me. And then I have a Believe Rock, the Funko Pop collections of Pretty, uh, Pretty Woman, and a Never Stop Dreaming picture. This next shelf has my Rachel Mead collection on it. There is a couple books that are missing from it just because the shelf is full and it wouldn't fit. Uh, so the Funko Pops on this shelf are Danny and Sandy in their leather getups from Greece. I'm missing the carnival of Danny and the regular of Sandy. In the middle, we have Cory and Topanga. And then on the right, we have Johnny and Baby from Dirty Dancing. This first collection by Rochelle Mead is the Glittering Court series. So this is the Glittering Court, Midnight Jewel, and the Emerald Sea. Next, we have the Succubus series. So Succubus Revealed, Succubus Shadows, Succubus Heat, Succubus Dreams, Succubus on Top, and Succubus Blues. Next, we have my three copies of The Vampire Academy. If you guys don't know me, this is my absolute favorite series. I read it every year. Going into January will be my 11th time reading this series. So, of course, I would have to have multiple versions of the book. So, of course, on the right, I have the original Vampire Academy cover. I am hoping to eventually be able to maintain that in hardcover, but for right now, I just have the original paperback version. However, even if I did get the hardback version, I don't know if I would get rid of this one just because I've read it so many times and I love it. Then we have the movie edition cover as well as the 10th year anniversary edition, which does have some added content. Next, we have the remainder of the Vampire Academy series. So we have Frostbite, Shadow Kiss, Last Sacrifice, Spirit Bound, and Blood Promise. And then of course we have the spin-off series of the Vampire Academy. So this is the Bloodline series. Not my personal favorite. I've only read this series twice. In January, I will be reading it for the third time. I am a die-hard Dimitri Rose fan. So here we have Bloodlines, The Golden Lily, The Indigo Spell, The Fairy Heart, Silver Shadows, and The Ruby Circle. Next we have a shelf of a collection of different authors that I adore. So we have a cup of bookmarks in a Disney mug, and then we have a bookmark that I made for myself, a metal bookmark, the cufflinks from my wedding, as well as the necklace I wore, uh, a ring that was the last present I got from my little brother. And then on the right, we have an unpainted fox, two candles that were at my wedding, and two keychains. One says, I'd rather be reading books, and the other one is Crazy Shark Lady. This next shelf, we have my Alexander Tor collection. So we have Moonshot, The F List, Love and Lingerie, and Hollywood Dirt. I've only read Hollywood Dirt so far. If you haven't read it, I would highly suggest it. Also, there is an adaptation on Passion Flicks, which is also amazing. Next, we have the starting of my Rachel Van Dyken collection. So we have the uh, Dirty X's and Dangerous X's. I think it's called like Mystery Inc. or something. Then we have Fratronize, Matchmaker's Playbook, and The Matchmaker's Replacement. All of those I have read, I have not read Elect yet. Continuing on, we have The Dare, The Wager, The Bet, Fearless, Royal Bully, and Elite. Next, we have some Debney Perry books. So we have Gypsy King and Tattered. I do want to get the remainder of both of those series. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. Uh, I have read the second one to the Lark Cove series. 
but that's as far as I got because I wanted to read them physically. And then we also have Look the Part by Jewel E. Ann. Following that, we have the Kinky Bank Robber series. So we have books one to three, and then four and five. So Taken Hostage, The Most Wanted, and The Hard Way. If you guys haven't read this series yet, I highly suggest it. I am planning to do a reread of it soon. Next, we have my Piper Rain collection, which is ever-growing, and I love it. I do hope to own all of their books eventually. So, looking at this series alone, I'm hoping that it has the rest of the rainbow. Um, but we have Confessions of a Naughty Nanny, Birth of a Baby Daddy, Demise of a Self-Centered Playboy, and World's Worst Matchmaker. Next, we have the Modern Love series, as well as an extra. So we have Charmed by the Bartender, Mad About the Banker, and Hooked on the Boxer. I do believe that that is just a trilogy, but I could be wrong. And we also have Manic Monday. Next, we have the trilogy that started my love for Piper Rain, Flirting with Fire, Crushing on the Cop, and Engaged to the EMT. This is currently the only series that I have read by them, but just reading this series, they turned into an auto by author for me, so I'm super excited for those. Following that, we do have the Rooftop Crew series, so we have The Besties X and The Rival Roomies. I do believe that there's a couple more coming out for that, or that are already out, but I don't own them yet. And then we also own the, the Blue Collar series, so we have Dirty Flirty Enemy, Sexy Filthy Boss, and Wild Steamy Hookup. Uh, and then we have some other things from the wedding. So we have the boutonnieres, my ring box that says we do, uh, a gift I was given at my bridal shower, our wedding cake topper, and then my little brother's favorite ornament, which was the cat. And then we have a Valentine's present from my husband. So first we have my Helena Hunting series. Uh, so we have Pucked Love, which is part of the Pup series. This is currently the only one that I own in that series. And then we have Kiss My Cupcake, which I just finished and I absolutely loved. I gave it five out of five stars. We have Meet Cute, which I also gave five stars. And then we have Good Luck Charm, which I haven't read yet. Next, we have another series. I'm not sure what this series is called, uh, but we have A Lie for a Lie, A Secret for a Secret, and A Favor for a Favor. And then lastly, we have Shacking Up and Hooking Up. And then we go into my Penelope Ward and Vi Keeland collection. So we have Playboy Pilot and Stuck Up Suit. We also have Dirty Letters and Hate Notes. And then we have some solo Vi Keeland books. So we have We Shouldn't. All Grown Up and The Rivals. Following that we have the Girl Talk series by Jessica Prince. So Seducing Lola, Tempting Sophia, Enticing Daphne, and Charming Fiona. Following that we go into my Tara Sumi collection. So this is Lessons from the Rock series. So we have Master Professor and Headmaster. Then we go into the Submissive series. So we have The Submissive, The Dominant, the Training, Seduced by Fire, and The Enticement, The Caller, The Exhibitionist, The Master, The Exposure, The Flirtation, and Mentors Match. There is one book that I am now missing from this series. It is called Top Trouble. And on this last shelf, it consists of my Maya Banks collection and my Jody Allen Malpas collection. So we have The Protector, The Forbidden, his True Queen, Controversial Princess, and Gentleman Sinner. Of course, we have the This Man series. So, This Man, Beneath This Man, This Man Confessed, and With This Man. There is also a novella, but I don't have that yet. I don't actually think that it's being printed. I think it's just a ebook. And lastly, we have One Night Promised, one Night Denied, and One Night Unveiled. Next, we have my Maya Banks collection. So we have Sweet Surrender, Sweet Persuasion, Sweet Seduction, Sweet Temptation, and Sweet Possession. Sweet Addiction, For Her Pleasure, and Be With Me. 
letting go, giving in, taking it all, and brazen. Then we have the Slow Burn series, so keep me safe, in his keeping, safe at last, with every breath, and just one touch. Is the Breathless Trilogy, this is one of my favorites. So we have Rush, Fever, and Burn. Next we have my collection of Harry Potter Pops. So starting at the top shelf, we have Hagrid with an umbrella, Fred or George, and then we have Ginny at the Yule Ball, Fred or George, uh, Ron Weasley with the Mandrake, Hermione as a cat, Harry with a prophecy, Hermione making Polyjuice Potion, Hermione at the Yule Ball, Hedwig, uh, Neville Longbottom with Trevor, Luna wearing the Gryffindor lion, and Hagrid with a cake. And then on the second shelf, we have Flocked Buckbeak, a Thristle, the Bloody Baron, Snape, Dumbledore, Draco Malfoy, Lucius Malfoy, Mad-Eye Moody, Dolores Umbridge, Gilderoy Lockhart, Tom Riddle, Voldemort, Nagini, and a Death Eater. This next shelf here is just my shrine of Iron Man. Iron Man is my favorite superhero, if you couldn't tell. This next shelf here is the only shelf that I personally have on this shelf because I had to give my husband some room. He doesn't have nearly as many books as I do, but yeah, every time I <laughs> rearrange my bookshelves, he ends up with less and less room just because he doesn't read nearly as often as I do, so yeah. So here we have Ron riding the knight from Chamber of Secrets. We have some book sleeves that I created myself. So we have seven Harry Potter ones because I wanted one for every book and a paw print one. And then we have some Disney lilographs that I got from the Disney Movie Club. Behind those, we have my Helen Hart collection, which is the Steel Brothers series. I have books 1 to 8, 13, 14, 15 is on its way, and she just announced that she's releasing more. Uh, I'm debating getting rid of the series because I really did not like it. And then on the other side, we have my Harry Potter box set, as well as a 20 anniversary edition of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. A different like beginning point. It has a map but like then it's just normal. The end has a couple different things as well. And then these are my husband's shelves. He mostly reads the Warhammer series, which is by a bunch of different authors. It's like a million books long. Uh, and then he has some Harry Potter books as well, but they're in really bad condition. <laughs> uh, he has some Doctor Who books. And then behind those, he has like Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit and books like that. And then on the bottom shelf, the baking books are mine because I'm a baker, obviously. And then those are all of his graphic novels and comics. So for this shelf, we have the After series and the Lunar Chronicles series. And then we have uh, Lightning McQueen, Flounder, Olaf with Kittens, Boo, Sully, and Roz. We have a pink Nessie in the back as well as my... Disney pin collection, and then just some bracelets and stuff from Romance Reveal Book Box. Next up, we have the After Series by Anna Todd. I do own the second one. I'm reading it right now, so. But we have After, After We Collided, After We Fell, After Ever Happy, and Before. I did used to have the Landon spinoff, but I really didn't like them, so I got rid of them. And then I also have The Brightest Stars, which I'm not really sure if it's part of the After series, but I don't think so. Next, we have the Lunar Chronicles series. This is one of my favorite YAs, and I am planning to reread it soon. So we have Cinder, Cress, Scarlet, Winter, Stars Above, which is a novella, 
of collection stories that go with the series, as well as Fairest, which is the uh, evil person story. This next shelf is my vampire dedicated shelf because everything on it consists of vampires. Uh, so the pops there are from True Blood, obviously. So we have Lafayette, Pam, Eric, Suki, Bill, and Alcide. That little box in the middle there that says True Blood on it, those are coasters that look exactly like what's in the box. I don't want to use them because I think they're too pretty and I just want to keep them. And then at the end we have my True to the End True Blood mug. Again, I'm not going to take these ones out just because there is only two series and they are older as well as it's really hard to get that box set of Suki Stackhouse out of the box. So on the left we have my Morganville Vampire series. So that consists of book one and two both in the first one. I do believe it is called uh, Glass Houses and the Dead Girls Dance. Then we have Midnight Alley, Feast of Fools, Lord of Misrule, Carpe Corpse, Fade Out, Kiss of Death, Ghost Town, Fight Club, Last Breath, Black Dawn, Bitter Blood, Fall of Night, and Daylighters. And then for True Blood or Suki Stackhouse series, we have Dead Until Dark, Living Dead in Dallas, Club Dead, Dead to the World, Dead as a Doornail, Definitely Dead, Altogether Dead, From Dead to Worse, Dead and Gone, Dead in the Family, Dead Reckoning, Dead Locked, and Dead Ever After. This shelf mostly consists of Nicholas Sparks books, but it also has some other books that I either thought fit with the Nicholas Sparks-like theme or uh, books that I just didn't know where else to put them. First we have my, my Kristen Hanna collection. This did come as a box set, but I didn't want to keep the box because it's not a series, they're just a bunch of random books. Uh, so I got rid of the box, but I did keep the author note. So we have Homefront, Winter Garden, and The Nightingale. I haven't read anything except for The Nightingale, but I really enjoyed that book, so I wanted to have more by her. So next we have Charlie St. Cloud by Ben Shearwood. I really enjoyed that movie, so I wanted to read the book. Then we have Midnight Sun by Trish Cook. I think that the movie adaptation was really well done. Then we have If I Stay by Gail Foreman. This was a gift given to me by Chantel from Canadian Book Ninjas. Then we have A Simple Wild by K.A. Tucker. I know that I am behind the times because I have not read this book yet and I really need to. I own it now, so now I can. And lastly, we have The Time Traveler's Wife by Audrey Niffinger. Next, we have the start of my Nicholas Sparks collection. I do believe that I am only missing one book by him. Uh, I have read a good portion of them. I do think that he is one of my favorite romance authors. Usually I read more erotic romance than he does, but I really enjoy his work. So we have The Notebook, which is one of my all-time favorite movies, and of course I have read that book. Then we have Dear John, Message in a Bottle, the Guardian and The Longest Ride. I have also read The Longest Ride and that is again one of my favorite movies. Then we have At First Sight, The Best of Me, which I did read and it's not one of my favorites but I did still enjoy it. Every Breath, See Me and The Rescue. And lastly we have A Bend in the Road, The Choice. I really liked that book and I also really enjoyed the adaptation. Then we have The Last Song. I think that this is my all-time favorite book that he has written and the movie followed true. So again, it is another one of my favorites. Then we have The Lucky One. Not one of my favorites, but still good. I haven't read the book yet, but I've seen the movie. And then we have The Wedding, which I also haven't read yet. So this shelf here mostly consists of YA books, I think. 
So first we have City of Bones, City of Ashes, and City of Glass. Next we have Clockwork Angel, Clockwork Prince, City of Fallen Angels, City of Lost Souls, City of Heavenly Fire, and Lady Midnight, all by Cassandra Clare. Following that we have my Abby Glines collection, Making a Play, Losing the Field, and Until Friday Night. As She Fades, The Vincent Brothers, and The Vincent Boys. Next, we have my books by Lexa Hillier. Uh, so we have Winter Glass and Spindle Fire. I do believe there is more to this series. I just don't own them yet. And lastly on the shelf, we have my Twisted Fairy Tales collection. Uh, I am still missing a couple books, but this is what I have so far. And I do think that this is a pretty good start. So we have Conceal Don't Feel, which is the Frozen retelling by Jen Kalanita. And then we have Mira Mirror, which is a Sleeping Beauty retelling by Jen Kalanita. Then we have As Old as Time, which is a Beauty and the Beast retelling by Liz Braswell. Followed by Reflection, which is a Mulan retelling by Elizabeth Lim, and then we have A Whole New World, which is an Aladdin retelling by Liz Braswell, and lastly Once Upon a Dream, which is a Sleeping Beauty retelling by Liz Braswell. On this next shelf we have Romeo from Romeo and Juliet, as well as Rose from Titanic, and a signed book plate by L. Kennedy. Up next, we have some books by Sarah Nay. So this is the How to Date a Douchebag series. I haven't read these yet. I am still missing one. Uh, I feel like I am very behind on these. But we have The Studying Hours, The Failing Hours, The Learning Hours, and The Coaching Hours. Then we have Culty by Mariana Zapata. I have heard nothing but amazing things about this series, so I'm really excited to read it. Then we have Unconditionally by Erin Lyon, as well as A Love, I Love You. Then we have Texting the Enemy by T.K. Barber and Penalty by Jacob Chance. I do need to get the rest of that series so I can continue. Next we have Cheeky Royal by Nina Malone, For the Love of Skating by Madeline Fay, Bossy Bastard by J.L. Perry, Smut by Karina Hale, and Accidental Thrice by Natasha Boyd. Next we have Sweet Home by Tilly Cole, Yard Sale by Charlia Rose, Contingency Plan by Fiona Davenport, His Best Friend's Little Sister by Vivian Wood, and The Friend Zone by Sarah Wilson. Then we have One Night Stand by J.S. Cooper and Helen Cooper, Defy by LJ Shin. Don't know why it's not with my other LJ Shin books. We have Wrong Number by R.L. Henderson, Desk Banger by K.S. Rochelle, and The Curve by Leslie Pike. Next we have what I call the His Her Her series by Penelope Bloom. So we have Her Bush, Her Cherry, Her Secret, His Package, His Banana, His Treat. I love the pictures and the titles of these books and the synopsis of them just sound hilarious, so I'm so excited to start them. Next we have the Off Campus series by L. Kennedy, so this is The Deal, The Mistake, The Score, and The Goal. And lastly we have the Briar U series, The Chase, The Risk, The Play, and The Dare. This next shelf consists of a teapot that I got for Christmas one year. It's too pretty to use in my opinion, so it just sits on my bookshelf. And then we also have Archie from Riverdale and Joey wearing all of Chandler's clothes, as well as uh, the Double Wears Prada collection of Miranda Presley and Andy Sachs. And then we also have a Hell's Kitchen drinking cup. This next shelf is full of a lot of random authors. I think there is a couple series on it, but it's mostly just random authors. 
So we have Temp the Playboy by Natasha Madison. I do believe this is the third book in the series, so I do have to get the first two. And then we have Unconscious Hearts, which is by Harper Shalom. It does say a Hearts of Vegas novel. So I was kind of hoping there would be a second one, but I haven't been able to find any thing leading to a second one. So if you do or have, please let me know in the comments below because I'd really like to read the second one. And then we have Use Me by Kimberly Knight. I do know that this is a duology. I think the second one is called Watch Me. I haven't read it yet because I didn't know that it came out, uh, but I do have to get it. And then we have Between the Lines by Renee Harless and With My Whole Heart by Maria Lisa DeMora. Next we have Mr. Control by Maya Hughes. This is a trilogy, I just only own the first one. Then we have Marriage on Madison Avenue, which is by Lauren Lane. Again, a trilogy, I just only own the third one. <laughs> and then we have Hot Pickle by J.J. Knight. I do really want to read this book and then buy like everything else by her. And we also have Bullied in His Arms by K.L. Dawn, as well as The Bedroom Experiment by Kendall Ryan. Next up, we have a series that was actually really hard for me to find. These are the only covers I was able to find. So we have The Dirty Girls Book Club, Dare to be Dirty, and Bound to be Dirty by Savannah Fox. Still haven't read these books, but I really need to get on it. Then we have the Icon Trilogy by Vanessa Fewings. Yes, the third book bugs me, but it's the only one that I could find. So we have The Game, The Chase, and The Prize. Next we have Royally Yours by Emma Chase, Saved by Hazel James. Then we have The Suits Undone series by Mia Sosa. This is Unbuttoning the CEO and One Night with the CEO. I think there might be one more in this series, not 100% sure. And we also have Stiff Suit by Tanya Fenske. Next we have The Scandalous Slip series. So this is by Gwen McName. We have Dick Slip, Nip Slip, and Beaver Blender. I have only currently read Dick Slip, but I do need to read the others. Next we have Book Boyfriend by Kingsley. It does look like this is a series, so I do need to get the rest of them. Then we have The Singles Game by Lauren Westberger, The Real Thing by Melissa Foster, and The Kissing Game by Marie Hart. Next we have this Cupcake series by Bethany Lopez. I'm not really sure what this series is actually called, but I'm gonna call it the Cupcake series. So we have Laid with Cupcakes, Always Room for Cupcakes, Cupcake Explosion, and Cupcake Overload. Next we have the Blindfold Club series by Nikki Sloan. So we have Three Sweet Nothings, Three Dirty Secrets, Three Little Mistakes, Three Hard Lessons, and Three Simple Rules. And lastly on this shelf we have Love Sincerely Yours by Sarah Ney and Megan Quinn. One Hot Chance by Anna Durand, Vicious by LJ Shin, and Angry God by LJ Shin. On this next shelf, we have some pops from Orphan Black. So we have Helena, the two Rachels, one with a martini glass and one with pencil in her eye, as well as Alison Hendricks. And then on the right, we have Aubrey and Becca from Pitch Perfect. First off, we have some of my Emily Robertson books. I am missing the first one. I have read it though, uh, but this is the Love and Harmony series. This is a rock star romance. So we have Dissonance, Prelude and Duet. Then we have Vink Cummings. So we have Help Hopelessly Devoted and Hopelessly Shattered. I do believe this is a trilogy, so I am missing one book. Next we have my Letty Harper collection, so we have The Secret Baby and The Half Truth. There is one other book that I need for this series, I just don't own it yet. Next we have what is currently out for the Bromance Book Club series, so we have The Bromance Book Club and Undercover Bromance. These are by Liza K. Adams. I do have the third book pre-ordered and me and Nikki are going to reread all of them and then get together and make a video discussing them. So watch out for that. 
Next, we have my Jay Daniels collection. So we have Bad For You, Down Too Deep, and Hit The Spot. I do believe that I am missing one book for this series. Next up, we're going into my Katie Evans collection. So this is Man Whore and Man Whore Plus One. I do believe there is one other book for this series. I just don't have it yet again. Next, we have this series. I'm not really sure what this series is called, but it's also by Katie, e Katie Evans. So we have Mine, Legend, Ripped, Real, and Remy. I do think I'm missing, I think, two more. Next, we have my Lonely Megan Hart book. And there is another two on my shelf, so I don't know why they're separated. But this is Collide. And then we have Blitzed and Intercepted by Alexa Martin. There is one other book in this series, but I don't have it. Next, we have my Teresa Momert series. So we have the White Trash series. This is White Trash Beautiful, White Trash Damaged, and A Song for Us which originally had a different name, but for some reason they switched it. And then we also have Rumors, I think this is volume one, uh, Emerson and Ryder by Rachel Brunell. I will likely never end up with the rest of the series because they have since stopped making them, so I am on a hunt to find the rest of them. And then we also have Together We Stand, which is a collection of short stories by Canadian authors. Lastly, we have the Fifty Shades of Grey series. I don't feel like I need to open these books. Plus, again, this box set is really hard to get them back in. So we're just going to say the names. So we have Fifty Shades of Grey, Fifty Shades Darker, Fifty Shades Freed, and then we have, from Christian's point of view, Grey and Darker. And I cannot say enough times that I really wish that she would make Freed because I really enjoyed reading his side of the story. On this shelf, we have two candles as well as three soaps that are made into various baking items. So on the ends, we have two soap cupcakes, and in the middle, we have a donut. First up, we have some books by Lisa Renee Jones. So we have Dirty Rich Obsession, Endgame, Bad Deeds, and Damage Control. The last three are part of a Dirty Money novel series. I have not read any of those yet, but I am planning to soon. Next, we have some books by M. Layton. This is part of the Bad Boys series. So this is Down to You and Everything for Us. I do believe there is a couple more books in this series, but I don't have them yet. Next, we have some books by Helen Huang. So this is The Kiss Quotient and The Bride Test. I don't currently own book three but I am planning to order it. Then we have the Lover's Triangle series by Clarissa Fox. So this is The Billionaires, The Step Brothers, The Bosses, and just The Billionaires. Next, we have the only books that I currently own in the Misadventures series. So this is Misadventures with the Boss by Kendall Ryan, Misadventures with a Rookie by Tony Alio, and Misadventures with a Rockstar by Helen Hart. Next, we have a Three Sisters Catering series by Bethany Lopez. So we have A Splash of Vanilla and A Pinch of Salt. There is one other book, something about cinnamon, uh, but I don't own that yet. Then we go into my Christina Lauren set. So this is the Wild Seasons series. So we have Wicked Sexy Liar, Dark Wild Night, Dirty Rowdy Thing, and Sweet Filthy Boy. I haven't read this series yet. Then we have some standalones. We have The Unhoneymooners, Josh and Hazel's Guide to Not Dating, and my favorite Half Night Stand. Uh, I have read majority of their books. I haven't read the newest one, In a Holland Days, yet, but I've read everything else by them, except for the series I just showed you. And these are the only three that I decided to keep. And lastly for this shelf, we have the Thoughtless series by S.C. Stevens. So we have Thoughtless, Thoughtful, Effortless, Reckless, and Untamed. Next, we go into my Opal Carew collection. I just recently found out that this author is from Canada, which is where I am, so that's pretty exciting. Um... She used to be one of my all-time favorites, and then I ended up reading a book that kind of scared me off of her. 
so I am trying to go back and do her. I'm just kind of scared to read something now. Um, so we have Heat, Total Abandon, Stepbrother Mine, His to Possess, and His to Command. Next we have Riding Steel, His to Claim, Twin Fantasies, and Blush. Next up we have two series by Carly Phillips. Uh, so we have, this is the NY Dares series. So we have Dare to Surrender, Dare to Submit, and Dare to Seduce. I find this series really pleasurable to look at. I just, I love the colors. I love the covers. They're just great. I do think that I'm still missing one, but I'm not 100% sure. So this is the A Dare to Love series. So we have Dare to Take. Dare to Rock, Dare to Touch, Dare to Hold, Dare to Desire, and Dare to Love. Next we have the Courting Justice series by Lexi Blake. So we have Evidence of Desire and Order of Protection. Next we have a series that I received from someone that was getting rid of all of their books. Uh, so this is Penelope Skye's Lingerie series. Uh, so we have Muse in lingerie, beauty in lingerie, lady in lingerie, queen in lingerie, empress in lingerie, and fantasy in lingerie, desire in lingerie, sassy in lingerie, divine in lingerie, and foxy in lingerie, fine in lingerie, princess in lingerie, dancer in lingerie, and I do believe that this series is still going. I think that I am missing two or three currently. We are now on to this shelf. So the pops on here are Scuba Crash Bandicoot and Aku Aku. So next we have the first series by Christopher Pike. So we have volumes one to five. I haven't read the fifth one yet, but I am planning to read it. But in order to do that, I have to reread them all. Next we have a couple more vampire series. So this is Vampire Beach by Alex Duval. I do need to try and find volume three of, the, of Vampire Beach so that they all match. But this has six books in the series. So we have Bloodlust and Initiation, Ritual and Legacy, as well as High Stakes and Hunted. And then on the other side we have the Vampire Princess series by Tate Holloway. So we have Almost to Die For, Almost Final Curtain, and Almost Everything. Following that, we have my collection of Laura Leah. So we have Wicked Lies, Dirty Little Lies, Forbidden Pleasure, Guilty Pleasure, Intense Pleasure, and Killer Secrets. Hidden Agendas, Dangerous Games, Naughty Seductress, Secret Pleasure, Dangerous Pleasure, and Only Pleasure. And lastly on this shelf, we have Ginger Pie by Eleanor Eights. Uh, this series I read in grade four and it just stuck with me, so I bought my own copy. And then we have The Click by Leslie Harrison and Working It by a collection of different authors. Next, we have a hedgehog that I received last year from Christmas from my boss, as well as my Jurassic Park Pops. So we have a T-Rex blue, which is technically from Jurassic World. And then we have Dennis, Mr. Heyman, Ian Malcolm, and Dr. Grant. Next up, we have my J.R. Ward collection. Uh, this is the Black Dagger Brotherhood. I have not read any of these yet. I highly doubt that they're in order right now. And I don't own them all yet, so I don't really want to start them, but I also do because I don't want to spend too much money on them if I don't end up liking them. Uh, but we have Lover Mine, Lover Enshrined, Lover Unbound, Lover Revealed, Lover Awakened, Lover Internal, and Dark Lover. Next we have the remainder of my Rochelle Mead collections. We have Stormborn, Iron Crown, and Thorn Queen. These are over here just because my Rochelle Mead shelf is currently full. Up next we have a bunch of random books. So we have Wild Ride by Laura Kay. I do believe that is book two in the series. 
I read the first one, but I gave it away. But for some reason, I have the second one. We have The Diary of a Young Girl by Anne Frank. We have The Perfect Storm by Sebastian Jugger. Don't Scream by Wendy Corsi Straub. And Red Sparrow by Jason Matthews. And British Black Sheep by Lauren Smith. Next, we have The Little Bakery on Rosemary Lane by Ellen Berry. True Love at the Lonely Hearts Bookshop by Annie Darling. Chandelier by Laurelyn Page. The Worst Best Man by Mia Sosa. And The Billionaire's Christmas by J.S. Scott. Following that, we have The Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants series. I do believe that I'm still missing one book, but I'm not sure. So these are by Anne Brashers. This is The Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants, The Second Summer of the Sisterhood, Girls in Pants, and Forever in Blue. And lastly, we have Conclave by Penelope Douglas, The Zodiac Academy, Supernatural Bullies and Beasts by Caroline Peckham and Suzanne Valenti. Uh, there is a lot of books in this series, and this is the only one that I own right now. It is a novella. And then we have Blizzard Wings by Paul Kosh. He actually used to be one of my best friends in grade nine. And that book is signed, personalized. On this next shelf, we have Catwoman, Piper from Orange is the New Black, and Olivia Moore from iZombie. Next up, we have the starting of my Sylvia Day collection. So this is Don't Tempt Me, A Passion for Him, A Passion for the Game, Ask For It, and Seven Years to Sin, Reflected in You, Bared to You, Entwined with You, Captivated by You, and Heat of the Night, Pleasures of the Night, One with You, Afterburn, Aftershock, and Hot in Handcuffs. Uh, that book is co-wrote with Shayla Black and Shiloh Walker. Then we have The Hating Game by Sally Thorne, Twisted by Emma Chase, Next Flame by Penelope Douglas, Younger by Pamela Redmond, and Fighting for Everything by Laura Kay. Next we have the Wallbanger series by Alice Clayton. This is Wallbanger, Rusty Nailed, and Last Call. Next we have The Real Deal by Lauren Blakely, Cinderella-ish by Jocelyn Westbrook, Mr. Nice Guy by Jennifer Miller and Jason Fiefer. All It Takes by Kristen Proby, and Say I'm Yours by Kareem Michaels. Next, we have Black Tie Optional by Anne Marie Walker, He's a Cocky Playboy by Salone Howell and Alex Wolf, Road to Peace, which is book six by Piper Davenport. Um, this book was given to me in Romance Real Book Box. I never got around to getting books one to five. I don't know why they gave me book six in the series to begin with, but yeah. Then we have He's Just Not That Into You by Greg Beherent and Liz Trichello, and then Again But Better by Christine Vichio. These last two shelves don't have anything on them besides books. Starting a new shelf, we have Reflection by Owen Salinger, The Little Bit Trilogy, which consists of A Little Bit Submissive, A Little Bit Rough, and A Little Bit Controlling, by Babe Wild. Then we have Exit to Eden by Anne Rice, Secret by L. Marie Adelin, and Sacrificed to the Dragon by Jesse Donovan. Awakening by Alan Salinger, Richer Than Sin by Megan March, Fallen by Justine Allett, French Lessons by Monica Bell, and Mr. Tonight by Kendall Ryan. If you haven't read that book, I highly suggest that you pick it up. His Every Need by Terry L. Austin, Bad Girl Bridesmaids by Susanna Carr, Telling Tales by Charlotte Steen, One Tiny Lie by K.A. Tucker, and Surrender by Tawny Taylor. Next we have Dangerously Bound by Eden Bradley, Darkest Fantasy by Tawny Taylor, Frayed by Kim Carr, Laced with Desire by Jackie Burton, Jasmine Hayes, Joey W. Hill and Denise Rosietti. And then with the same authors, we have Unlaced. Then we have some books by Caro, 
So we have The Pleasure Zone and Passion Island. Then we have Take Me by Bella Andre, Make Me by Beth Carey, and Switch by Tish Cohen. Next we have some books by Megan Hart. So we have Stranger and Dirty. Then we have The Breathing Series by Rebecca Donovan and Match Point by Indigo Bloom. Next we have some Kate Pierce books. So we have Simply Scandalous, Simply Carnell, Simply Wicked, and Simply Sinful, Simply Sexual, Raw Desire, Tempting a Sinner, and The Sinner's Club. Next we just have some random books. So we have Rules of Contact by Jackie Burton, Lush by Lauren Dane, Flashburn by Clarissa Fox, and Saved by Angel Payne. Next we have Hard Limit by Meredith Wilde, The Silver Chain by Pramula Bond, and The Big Book of Bondage by Allison Tyler. I will likely end up getting rid of The Silver Chain and The Big Book of Bondage, just because I don't see myself ever rereading them. Then we have Wicked Burn by Beth Carey, Bad Boys in Black Tie by Erin McCarthy, Morgan Leah. Then we have Marley and Me by John Grogan. Next we have my Candace Bushnell collection. Uh, so we have Lipstick Jungle, Trading Up, Four Blondes, and Sex in the City, Summer in the City, The Carey Diaries, and On Fifth Avenue. I am also planning on getting the book that was released, uh, it's called Is There Still Sex and the City? And lastly for this shelf, we have my Simone Elkies collection. So we have Rules of Attraction, Perfect Chemistry, Return to Paradise, and Leaving Paradise. Up top here we have a coloring card from Shannon name check donna grant and adriana Locke. on the left we have my twilight pops so we have shirtless jacob bella and edward in a suit and then on the other side we have the mad hatter and the red queen or the queen of hearts we next have my collection by michael grant so this is the gone series i am still missing a couple but i do have quite a few of them so we have Gone, Lies, Plague, Fear, Monster, and Villain. Next we have Dark Inside by Jen Roberts, Sick by Tom Livin, The Farm by Emily McKay, Quarantine, The Loners by Lex Thomas, and Dorothy Must Die by Daniel Page. Next we have The Night Circus by Aaron Morgenstern, Fangirl by Rainbow Raoul, World War Z by Max Brooks, The Book Thief by Marcus Suzak, and Tiger Lily by Jody Lynn Anderson. Next we have Rule by Alan Goodlett, Forest of a Thousand Lanterns by Julie C. Dio, Scythe by Neil Schusterman. I have read the entire series and I only ended up liking book one, so it's the only one that I kept. And then we have Six of Crows by Leah Bardugo. And lastly on this shelf, we have the Hazelwood series by Melissa Albert. So this is the Hazelwood and the Night Country. Okay, for this next shelf here, we have the Little Shop of Horrors um, group of people. So we have Audrey Seymour with Audrey too as baby and the dentist. And then on the other side, we have some horror characters. So we have Carrie, and then we have some It characters. So we have Beverly, Pennywise, and Georgie with an arm. And then we just have Chucky on a cart. First up on the shelf, we have my collection by Molly McAdams. So we have Sharing You, From Ashes, Taking Chances, Letting Go, Deceiving Lies, and Forgiving Wise. Then we have some books by Jennifer L. Armitrout. So this is Obsidian and Onyx, which are part of the Lux series. Then we have the Warden Man series by Piper V. Brett. So we have The Warden Man, The Desert Spear, Daylight War, and Skull Thorn. 
Then we have The Shadow Queen by C.J. Redwine, Stealing Snow by Danielle Page, The Raven Boys, book one by Megan Steve Otter, and Sea Witch by Sarah Henning. Then we have Given to the Sea by Mindy McGuinn, McGinnis, and then Dawn of the Dead by George A. Romero. Lastly, we have my collection of Sarah J. Mass books. I haven't read any of these, and I know that I'm missing so many for the Throne of Glass series, but this is what I have right now. So we have A Court of Thorn and Roses, Throne of Glass, Crown of, Crown of Midnight, Tower of Dawn, A Court of Frost and Starlight, and Catwoman, Soul Stealer. These shelves don't have anything on them but books. Next, we have my collection by L.J. Smith. Uh, again, I'm not going to take them all out because they don't have very exciting covers. They have the words with the picture on it. Uh, so this is the Vampire Diaries series. So firstly, we have the Stephens Diaries. So we have Origins, Bloodlust, The Craving, The Ripper, The Asylum, and The Compelled. And then we go into... The Vampire Diaries. So we have The Fury, Dark Reunion, The Awakening, The Struggle. So then it goes into like trilogies within the series. So we have the Return Trilogy, which has Nightfall, Shadow Souls, and Midnight. And then the next trilogy consists of the Hunters series, which is Phantom, Moonsong, and Destiny Rising. Then we have these the Secret Circle series, so this is The Initiation and The Captive Part 1 and 2, and The Power. Next we have the Hush Hush series by Becca Fitzpatrick, so we have Hush Hush, Crescendo, Silence, and Finale. Lastly on the shelf we have another box set that's really hard to get out, so we have the Maze Runner series by James Dashner, so we have The Maze Runner, The Scorch Trials, The Death Cure, the Kill Order, and The Fever Code. I have only read the first three, which is technically the trilogy, and then the last two are prequels explaining what, why, or like what, but I haven't gotten around to reading them yet. Next, we have the Selection series. So we have The Selection, The Elite, The One, Happily Ever After, which is a novel of novellas. Then we have The Heir and The Crown is the siren originally when i bought it i thought that it went with the selection series but it does not so we're going to show it by itself the princess diaries princess in the spotlight princess in love and princess in waiting so we have princess in pink princess in training princess on the brink princess mia and princess forever next we have cruel beauty by rosamund hodge I do want to collect the rest of the series, I just haven't got around to it yet. Then we have some books by PC Cast that I didn't want to put on my House of Night shelf because I haven't read them and I don't know if I'm going to like them. So we have Divine by Mistake and Moon Chosen. Next we have the Royal Wedding series by Rachel Huck. We have How to Catch a Prince, Princess Ever After, Once Upon a Prince, and a royal Christmas wedding. Next we have the Red Queen series by Victoria Aveyard. So we have Red Queen, Glass Sword, and Cruel Crown. These are the special edition series. I literally bought them because they were pretty. I mean they were on my radar already. I did want to read them, but I bought the special editions because they were pretty. This is a really long series and it is all by Sarah Shepard. It is the Pretty Little Liar series. I do not have them in order because some of them are paperback and some of them are hardcover and I was just trying to make them look prettier on my shelf so that's why they're set up the way they are. But I'm not going to take them all out because they're not very exciting covers. They just have a girl on the front with the words. So we have Pretty Little Liars, Flawless, Killer, Heartless, Allie's Pretty Little Liars, Burned, Perfect, Unbelievable, Wicked, Wanted, Twisted, Ruthless, Stunning, Pretty Little Secrets, Crushed, Deadly, Toxic, and Vicious.
everyone knows what this series is, but it is the Twilight series by Stephanie Meyer. So we have Twilight, New Moon, Eclipse, Breaking Dawn, and The Short Life of Brie Tanner. The only way that I am ever going to read Midnight Sun is if I find it cheap, because I will not pay $35 for a book that I am likely to not like. So this is the host. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed my bookshelf tour. Uh, some of these books have just been recently hauled, so hopefully you guys have recognized them. I'm so excited to read so many of these books. Uh, if any of these interest you, let me know down below. Um, or if you're just wanting recommendations for different kinds of tropes, I can do that as well. Feel free to message me. If you guys liked this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to. Ding the bell to get all the notifications for my new videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.